Hello, welcome to my new RV. So I haven't been showing up here very often because quite honestly, I just get really, really busy having fun. Um, we had probably one of the best summers ever and I feel very guilty that we never really captured it in YouTube format. We shared, we shared a lot of them in shorts, but really for me to stop doing a thing that is so fun for me, capture on video and then go video edit, is that's just one not to my strengths and that sounds awful. So this I am good at is just showing up live and kind of sharing where I am in, in the world, what I am like more like emotionally where I am in the world, not physically. Physically, we are in St. George, uh, Utah. So. If you don't follow us on other platforms or on our email list, which you should, you should follow us uh, on Instagram and be on our email list. You might not know that, let's see, almost a year ago, we came to St. George. It was about mid-October. We came to St. George after uh, traveling all summer with the whole family. And we got to this great RV park, Settlers Point in Hurricane, Utah, which is right by St. George. And Danny decided, like, hey, you know what? I kind of want to stay here. I'm tired of traveling. He was 23 at the time. I'm like, yeah, sure. So we went on to Hawaii and San Diego and kept traveling, did our ski trips. And Danny kept staying here and he was happy. He found a group of uh, friends at their swing dancing is really big here. That was kind of the motivation for him and Isabel to like it here. And then they went to, um, let me think where else we went. Well, then come May, Isabel said, you know, I really like my friends at Swing, so I want to stay here too. I'm like, okay, perfect. Gabby decided to keep traveling with us. She had her own RV for half the time and then would hang with us for half the time. This story could get really long. I'm trying to keep the video somewhat short. So point being, you know, we had finally had two of our adult children. Isabel was um, 19 at the time, she's 19, um, stay in St. George. And they live in our big, big fifth wheel. And Gabby had her RV and we simultaneously, I don't think I even showed this one on, on um, YouTube, but we bought, Victor and I bought a smaller fifth wheel that we traveled in all summer. I'll try to show you some videos of that at some point, but I'll probably forget. Um, and so we, uh, we had just a really great summer. We went through Idaho. We did a boomerang actually. We, we started in Salt Lake, went to Lander, took a trip up to Spearfish and the Black Hills in South Dakota, then came back down to Lander, went across to the Sawtooth, up to Sandpoint, Idaho, over to Washington, did the northern part of Washington. We actually did two loops there because Isabel uh, flew out and met us there. Then we came back through the exact same Sandpoint, through the Sawtooth, back to Lander and then finished off in Salt Lake. And now here we're back in St. George. The point of this video, because I'm going to try to show up a little bit more and just give you some inspiration, um, is to make you question what is possible. That's my biggest gift I can give the world is to be a questioner. Most people go through life and never question what is possible. In fact, uh, Gabby and I are doing a five day free best life blueprint workshop. And day one is all about learning to define what your ideal life is. What's your dream life look like? What does your best life look like? Is your dream life the same as your best life? And so part of, for me, my best life is switching RVs based on what I feel like I want to experience or the feeling I'm chasing in my experiences. One of those things was that when we were coming back to St. George, I thought, you know, seven of us now, especially having three kids that are adults, seven of us in our big 42 foot fifth wheel, while it is huge, is gonna be really stressful. It's gonna be too crammed. So this is Victor and my private RV that we went and bought. And it is, I mean, we've had it for almost a week now. I can't tell you how much I love it. It's so great. One. I love the fact that we're right next door. I'll give a tour of the whole campground maybe tomorrow, but for today, I just want to keep this short and talk about mindset and believing that anything is possible. So we bought this, this, um, 22, 24 foot, I guess, travel trailer. And it's pretty, it's pretty small, but for two people,
comfortable. It's so comfortable. I love that, um, well, one that the, it's, we're in St. George. I love that the air conditioner heats up. In fact, I'm very picky about like, nobody's allowed to come in here while I'm working during the day because I got to keep the air conditioning on so I can catch up on work and start, um, start inspiring more people. When we, when we had, we came back, can't talk. We came back a couple days ago and went to our storage unit only to find out that it had been broken into and all of our ski gear pretty much was stolen, snowboards, um, bikes, a lot of stuff, Victor's geese. But one of the things in storage were that was that I still have copies of my Playful Life book because I myself have to work on self-growth and overcome self-limiting beliefs. And really for me, I have to learn to be more disciplined. Like I can just get caught up in fun and adventure and not do the work needed to share my voice, like not making the time to record in, uh, YouTube videos or not making the time to make an Instagram post. I'm really bad at like doing tasks. I'm really great at big picture vision and pushing through physical barriers. To drive to Lincoln, Nebraska, 10 hours to pick this up and then drive 13 hours to get back to Salt Lake. And then that's easy for me. I can endure physical things, but for me to sit still and focus on one task at a time, super hard. So playful life. I looked at this book, grabbed it, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so disappointed in myself for not sharing this book more because the number of people that are sick and tired and struggling with their weight or struggling with their health or aren't having fun in life anymore is so big that if more people just knew about this book, there'd be a difference in the world. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my book real quick because remember I said, you don't know what is possible. You don't think in terms of like, well, why couldn't I have two RVs next door to each other in St. George and have all of my kids in one and here? Why couldn't I just chase adventure every day? Why would I have to homeschool my kids? Why can't I just do unschooling and interest-based learning? Why can't I, um, why can't I eat healthy, make a greens juice and still have a beer in the evening? It is really like the only limitations is the stories and beliefs we're telling in our head big part of day two of our best self or best life blueprint day one was like dream bigger think outside the box what do you really 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 want day two was like what are all the beliefs that are getting in your way tonight day three i'm going to be talking about like it's great to have these goals this dream but at some point you have to do the work like at some point i have to hit record on my phone and record the youtube video at some point i have to like say hey you need to pick up this book so click the link below or schedule a call with me so i can teach you how this book is amazing it has three parts okay it's um mindset first okay then movement getting your physical body stronger more agile resilient um more capable and then part three is kind of just making your body function optimally through nutrition, right? I say, yeah, well, I have a green juice, but I still probably have a beer or a glass of wine tonight. I don't work well in extremes, but I'm very good at moderation in terms of health and fitness. Maybe my adventure travel is a little extreme, but even that, I moderately do an extreme adventure almost every day. I guess it depends what we consider extreme. I don't really think what I do is extreme, but I know it's extreme to most people. So this book takes you through three phases because everyone's at a different level, right? So it's like phase one is your connection phase, connect to self. Phase two is intention, set an intention. What do you want? Okay. Determination phase is where you get discipline in the extreme. And in each three of those phases, there's all three parts. So your connection, your first part of mindset, you know, starts off by like what I'm talking about today. Like question, what is your belief? What do you think is possible? in your head do you think it's like i can only i can only live your life if i'm a millionaire well that's not true we don't have that much money i mean we have enough money we always have enough but it's not like uh this pain point or this threshold that we passed that was like oh my gosh we have a hundred thousand dollars in the bank now i can go live my best life what do you think your best your beliefs are around a best life is a best life only monetarily driven because i gotta tell you sometimes the reason i don't push the monetary is that my life is just so good. It's so happy, but it's happy because it's built around adventure and connection and purpose. 
all these other things that sometimes we can't measure in our bank account. Okay. And then from that part in the connection phase, once you start questioning your beliefs, what do you think is possible? Then you start having to do some simple movements. Cause if you are not training your body, um, regularly, there's a good chance you have some muscular skeletal imbalances, right? Like for me, I have really, really tight shoulders. So if like, I haven't been in the gym in a long time, if I go in and start bench pressing heavy, my neck and shoulders are going to be a wreck. I'm going to end up hurting myself. So I have to do a lot of prehab and primal movement patterns. Also for me, the gym's not that fun. So in order for me to keep doing all these crazy hikes and mountain biking, or if I want to go surf this fall, I have to do a lot of rehab. You might too. Maybe, you, maybe you're super mobile and you don't need to. Maybe you just need to build up strength. In this book, it covers all of that. Okay? And third, then it talks about food. Like the basic things of nutrition are still, um, still kind of common among all different diet plans. Okay. For the most part, you need well sourced protein, right? One of the cool things is when I travel is I know where, where uh, ranchers are all over the U S but I have three, three main ones. I have a rancher here at St. George that I get a whole cow from. So we already, we got here two days ago, three days ago. I already got my two deep freezer stocked with grass fed beef. Uh, when we're in Lander, I have a rancher that I work with there. And so if I'm not, if I'm traveling, I always go through and make sure I stock up at least our small freezer full. I found one in Washington when we were in Washington. Um, I find I have one in South Dakota. I haven't used it in a while, but you can find a rancher that you get your meat from. Grass fed meat is probably the healthiest thing you can add in your diet right now. I know people think chicken is healthy, but that's a whole nother side note. Victor can tell you about how he was on chicken diet for so long. And that's probably a big reason why he ended up with adrenal fatigue. So personally, I'm anti-chicken. If you can find somebody who raises chicken naturally, it's fine. But chicken in the grocery store that says organic, not buying it. I don't think it's organic. Too many hormones in it. So you can find some like, we'll find pigs too. Like we get our own pig from uh, ranchers. It just depends on how much freezer space I have. Um, organic fruits and vegetables. Okay. It's really hard to get it. I hate that. I sometimes have to buy this at Costco, but sometimes it's just really hard to find, um, a farmer's market. I don't found a good farmer's market here in St. George. When we were traveling, Lander had great ones. Sandpoint had great ones so we could stock up, but look in the grocery store, they're spraying your food. Even if it says organic, they're spraying it with a whole bunch of bad stuff. So those are your basics. That's your connection phase for today. Maybe, just maybe, I'll be disciplined enough to show up tomorrow with some more insight into some of the connection phase. But you can get this download, the ebook, for free. You can also set up a coaching call with me or with Victor. And part of your coaching call, you will get a hard copy of this book, which I do recommend. It's so much easier when you can just open it up and be like, oh, Primal One. Primal One's one of your workouts. Okay. It has like eight week workouts in here. It has all of your, the back part has recipes. I can't believe I did not market this to begin with. Like I worked so hard on this book and it's so good. And I let like, I let having fun get in the way, I guess, but it's pretty, not anymore. Not now. Okay. Hope you have a great day. Please leave me a comment if you like just my rambling because otherwise I'm just going to keep showing up and rambling and have no direction. So like, if you like me rambling, give me some directions. What I actually want to say, give me some direction. What do you, what are questions you want to know? Like, how do we do interest-based learning? What, what other things are in, in your book? Um, how do you and Victor handle the fact that he didn't like to travel, but now he does like to travel? Uh, where are we traveling to next? What do I think about the upcoming lockdowns that I think you guys are all going to fight against? And we're not going to, we're going to resist because it's ridiculous. Um, Oh, I've got like, I can ask you guys or uh, tell you more about what we do and be the hero. Like we're Victor starting a men's group and I'm starting a woman's group. Um, what about how to raise kids that aren't lazy these days? Because it's really hard, right? People, like, it's hard to find good role models for your children. Maybe my kids need to come on here and like share some stuff. So leave me some comments and at the very least like subscribe. All right. Keep showing up. Thanks.